he or they are there. Oh, hi, friends, <laughs> brothers and sisters. We are so persecuted against as Mormons. Oh my gosh, it's horrible, you know? It's like no one suffers more persecution in this day and age than the Mormons. <laughs> Cheer. We're not crying, though. Not because we know we're not being persecuted against, but because we're going to be okay, okay? We are in a safety bubble, and we have the prophet. We thank the God for the prophet. And everything is going to be A-OK. -okay. For us, not for them. Um, now, when someone says something that is anti-Mormon, <laughs> um, anti-Mormon would be any time that someone questions or challenges anything you believe in, that would be anti-Mormon. Because asking the question is on the road to apostasy. <gasps> I'm sorry. Um, okay, but there are people, you wouldn't believe this, and Mormons believe anything. Um, people are actually saying that those Mormons aren't Christian. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know. I just laughed very loudly, which was very inappropriate, and I'm very sorry. And if I had listened to Jingle Conference, yay, better, I would be a better member. Oh, if only I could be like the prophet. Okay, um, I would like to be like the prophet. He has nice things. Anyway, um, that, that he earned. Well, he didn't earn them, because we don't pay our, oh my gosh, okay, persecution? Um, all right. I know that when normally when people say things that are anti-Mormon, you just run away, um, or you bear your testimony that you know the church is true, but sometimes it doesn't work, okay? You can't just... Okay, it, you have to confront these problems. Um, but we can confront this one because this is hilarious. <laughs> um, of course we are Christian. Of course we are. Are you Christian? Duh. Of course the Mormons are Christian. This is insane. We belong to the Church of Jesus Christ. Okay, so it's in our name. Okay, well, he is in our name. That's what's so funny about this to us is because we have a very personal relationship with Joseph Smith. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know you might be thinking that that was an embarrassing slip-up of sorts um, that might be more revealing than it should have been, but it's not, and here's why. Um, actually, we're, okay, this is the Lord's church, mm -hmm. and so you might say that he likes us best, okay? I mean, he likes you too, but he loves us most because it's his church, and so of course you're a Christian, and this is just so funny. <laughs> but apparently that's not good enough for some people, because nothing ever is. That's how they know we are right. Um, but I'm going to help you. When people ask you this stupid question, this is what you say, okay? Just follow my lead. Are Mormons monotheists, or are Mormons polytheists? Because that's the question that people seem to think makes us Christian now, which is really stupid, because the Trinity is, doesn't even, it's an apple, it's an egg, <laughs> what? <laughs> um, but when they ask you that question, this is what you say, pass. <laughs> okay, just don't answer the question. <laughs> it's not dishonest, no, oh my goodness, <gasps> how could you even imply such a thing? We're honest people, <laughs> lie to the Lord. Okay, um, it's just, we, okay, there is a yes or no answer technically, okay, but it's not that simple. Nothing in our church is that simple. It's line upon line, okay? There's an order involved and a sequence, and you have to learn things in our way, in our time frame, okay? So yes, well, there is a yes or no answer to the question. It sort of depends on who, 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 it's like an owl, <laughs> who is asking the question. This isn't, this isn't bait and switch, no. It's just, even though you physically hear yourself say, uh, just answer the question, Mormons, just answer the question. Why can you never answer questions as asked directly? And what we hear is, uh, please just answer the question however you as Mormons would like based on what you know is best for us. And we do. You're welcome. Okay, because we do. We know what's best for you. I mean, the Lord knows what's best for you, and he told the prophet, and the prophet told us. And so here we are, okay? Because this is, it just, it's not patronizing. It just, it is this way. <laughs> and remember, if something is the way we say it is, then it is, okay? And it requires no further inquiry. <laughs> the thing can have been done. <laughs> you know what? We as Mormons understand that what we believe in might come across as completely ridiculous and odd to you, okay? If we just explain to you what we believe about the nature of God and becoming gods, you might be like, what? And you don't need to be that way. We don't want to scare you away. And so that's why we have to not answer point blank, because then we might scare you away, and then you couldn't tell you all the awesome things there are to know about our church. And there are, okay? And also, I would have thought that this would have been a rare glint of self-awareness that the Mormons are so often accused of not having. So uh, you can't have your cake and eat it, too. <laughs> we can, but you can't. And so this is insane, okay? Because I'm sitting here telling you that I know why we're not telling you what we know. Okay, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, I'm a woman, and I know that we're polytheistic. Oops. <laughs> Oops, okay. We are polytheistic with an asterisk, okay? And I know that you might be thinking, well, we know the answer, so we'll just tell our friends. <laughs> Don't do it, okay? I know it sounds like a good idea, but it's not, okay? Because you'll scare them away, and then we can't do missionary work, and then you're going to feel bad about yourself. Do you want to feel bad about yourself, or do you want to go to heaven? You want to go to heaven, and you can't go there unless you do good works, and what a better good work than missionary work is. I'll do something. Okay. Recite the first article of faith. That's what you do. Oh my, ow. That's what you do when this happens, okay? We believe in God, the Eternal Father, and in His Son, Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Ghost, which we are now calling the Holy Spirit, apparently. But I don't know, maybe ghosts are very scary, like, woo! Okay, it's fine. Um, okay, so we believe that they are the same, but that they are three separate distinct things. Okay, so it might seem like polytheism, but we can't really stop there, because there's more. Oh my gosh, yay! Okay. Um, although maybe the rest of the world should just stop listening. <laughs> okay, um, okay, it's just... Just tell people what you learn at church, okay? What do we learn at church? What do I believe in? I guess it would be... Well, mostly we just talk about the prophets at church. We do thank the God for our prophets. It's just... We do... Okay. 
Traditionally, Mormons have prayed to the Father in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> um, but over time, we, okay, we, we are peculiar people, um, but over time, we've had to become more mainstream. Well, we didn't have to become more mainstream, but the Lord told us to. Well, he didn't tell us. He made us so, because it makes it easier. We, because it backfired when we were peculiar, um, because it was hard to trick, I mean, make, help people, help people believe what we believe. So we, the Lord decided that he wanted his church to become more mainstream, and it's difficult. It's very hard. Give us some credit. When you have to change your focus of worship to include Jesus when you weren't really including him before, like, it's hard. Okay? It's hard to do it quietly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we're very smart people. This is insane. You're like, oh, those Mormons are stupid. We're extremely smart. We know exactly what we're doing. <laughs> um, okay, it's just, your faith is very personal. It's very personal. Because again, I told you we had that personal relationship we talked about earlier. Okay. I mean, it has to be funneled through the prophet. Okay? Because if you have a personal relationship that isn't what the prophet says, that's bad, but it just sort of, okay, it doesn't matter. Okay? Just do what the prophet says and then pretend you have the personal relationship that you do don't that maybe you have. Okay, you do. Of course you do. Of course you do. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Some Mormons believe that Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother... <gasps> Surprise! It's true. Okay. Hi, Mom. Yay. We can't talk about her because she's very sacred to us. She's very sacred. And also, we can't talk about her because some Mormons believe that Heavenly Father has lots of Heavenly Mothers. <laughs> oh, no. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, this is not polygamy. We do not... Well, we don't practice polygamy <laughs> right now <laughs> in this life <laughs> on Earth <laughs> outside of the temple. <laughs> okay. So, um... It's, oh, also, we, no, we would not encourage that belief because it's a little uncomfortable and odd, right? Of course. But we don't want to discourage it because there are lots of Mormons, more than we care to admit, that do believe that. And we don't want to rain on their parade. Oh, the rains come down and the floods come up and you don't want to flood a party. No, boo. You don't want everyone to get wet, especially if there are lots of people there. And there might be, if they're right. We don't know. Um, it doesn't, you know what? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Okay, this is a little presumptuous because... You're going to be lucky if you ever even see Heavenly Father again, because you can't unless you're Mormon. And you can't be Mormon unless you believe what we believe. And you go to the temple, and you can't go to the temple unless you pay your tithing. <laughs> it's like a country club fee, except not like that at all. <laughs> um, okay, so everything's going to be fine if you do what we say and you believe what we believe. Until then, um, let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? But we want to help you. We love you so very much. And you're so special to us. Um, you're not a project in the sense that we... I mean, uh, yeah, that's, never mind. <laughs> we like you. <laughs> okay, well, that's all. We, we, we love... Okay. Uh, the way to the vendors of life.